I pull this or no? Hi, good afternoon. Can everyone hear me? Yeah, okay, perfect. So thank you so much to our vendors um, for coming out today. This is so tremendous to see how much support we have from our community. So can we get a round of applause for our vendors? Thank you. So we just have really quick announcements. So if you're not in this space, um, if you're up in the front over there, you can just hear and um, you'll be able to hear some great announcements that we have uh, for you as students, staff, and faculty. So this year, um, just so you know, my name is Roma Malik and I'm the Acting Sustainability Manager for the Office of Sustainability. And um, we've organized this event for you today. And we work and we get tremendous amount of support for, from our senior leadership through what we call is the Sustainability Steering Committee. So they allow us to ensure that uh, sustainability is continuously integrated in all of our planning and our decision making at Humber College, at Lakeshore campus and at North campus and at Orangeville campus. Um, and this year, the Sustainability Steering Committee, through uh, strong support from our senior leadership, we have decided to pursue fair trade campus designation status for Lakeshore. So this is amazing and it's, it's been a long, term, uh, long time in the making, but it, it shows the official support that we have. And if we're successful soon, we'll be joining 26 post-secondary institutions in Canada, and we'll be the first college in Ontario with this designation. So achievement of designation means that Humber College through Lakeshore Campus will be continuously um, taking on investment opportunities and we'll put our resources towards ensuring that we're educating our staff, student and faculty about fair trade designation, what the fair trade label means through products um, such as tea, coffee, fair trade bananas and chocolate bars. And this means that we'll strive to ensure that they're continuously available at our campus. So providing students and staff and faculty and our community members with the opportunity to purchase these products um, at our campus throughout the year. And this also ensures that we have in, um, taken steps to ensure that we have sustainable relationships between small scale farmers and our producers. So um, in June of this year, we created the uh, Fair Trade Committee Steering Committee. Uh, Fair Trade Campus Steering Committee. And this um, committee allows us to oversee the attainment of this designation. So I'm gonna call up upon a few members of our committee that are here today. So we have Gina Antonacci, who is our Associate Vice President of Academic Affairs, but she's not here with us. She's a very busy person. Next we have our um, loved principal of Lakeshore Campus, Wanda. So please come, we're just gonna have everybody come up. Kent Schroeder, Director of International Development Projects and um, the Program Coordinator of the Bachelor of International Development. We have Spencer Wood, uh, Director of Facilities Management. Paul Iskander, the Director of Campus Services. Um, myself. <laughs> uh, Alyssa Lim, Lakeshore Vice President of Ignite. Okay, we'll have Maha in her stead. <laughs> And uh, Yanni Thapanya, Student Mobility Advisor, who was a um, former director of Humperg. And um, now we have Reese Van der Breda, head of Humperg, please join us. And um, our new Chartwell's General Manager, Lawrence Ong, as well as um, Yana Vodika. So thank you to our committee members for um, all your efforts as we work towards achieving this designation. It can't happen without your support. And another big thank you goes to the Ignite Student Club Humperg for your years of dedication and persistence in, in having us reach this, re reach this time. Um, and uh, obviously the student support has kick-started this, this drive. So thank you. And now I'm going to hand it over to Wanda to say a few words. Thanks, Roma. 
Hi, everyone. And I, too, want to welcome everyone to today's Fair Trade Campus event. We have a great lineup of local of Fair Trade vendors. And I also want to thank everyone who's come out today to raise awareness and celebrate the Fair Trade movement here at Lakeshore Campus. It is a great community here at Lakeshore, and we're passionate about sustainability and engaged with sustainability issues. In recognition of this engagement, I'm, I'm too excited to announce that we are seeking fair trade campus designation here at Lakeshore Campus to be the first college campus to receive this designation. It would also, <clears throat> Achieving this designation would also serve as a great reflection of Lakeshore's campuses and the local community's ongoing sustained commitment to sustainability and sustainable development. It would also promote the environmental, social, and economic sustainability of the products that Humber College staff and students consume and enjoy every day. Fair trade designation would mark the beginning of Humber working to further develop and expand fair trade at the, both the North and Lakeshore campuses going into the future. Working towards a fair trade designation wouldn't be possible without the collective efforts of the team of the Office of Sustainability. I want to thank Roma. They spent a lot of time facilitating this designation and organizing events like this. I also really want to thank the vendors today for coming out. Um, you've taken steps to educate our community, our students, and our staff about what it takes to purchase consciously and ethically in our community. I want to thank our volunteers. I have high hopes that we can work to, towards a more sustainable collective future, including the fair treatment of people who work so hard to produce what we consume. I want to say enjoy the rest of the event. I'd like to also call up Michelle Goebbels from Equifruit to speak. Thank you to Wanda and Roma and the whole committee here at Humber um, for inviting me to be here and to come up and speak. Um, I'm so excited to hear that Humber's pursuing the designation. Let's go. That's awesome. <laughs> Um, and that you have such passionate staff, students, and faculty um, working on that. So Canadians, uh, so I work for Equifruit, so we import fair trade organic bananas. Um, and Canadians eat a lot of bananas. In fact, it's the highest selling produce item uh, after apples in Canada, as almost every family eats bananas every single week. And unfortunately, a history of the banana trade um, is a huge reason why fair trade even needs to exist. So exploitative labor conditions still happen today, uh, and that's why Equifruit decided to start importing fair trade bananas um, and working with fair trade banana producers uh, over 10 years ago. So we want to give Canadians the option uh, to buy from farms where we know workers are being treated well, have safe working conditions, can invest back into their farms, families and communities, and uh, get paid a decent living wage. We also engage in these long-term contracts with them so that they're not only being paid enough, but they have stable income so they can invest back into, the lives, into their lives and the lives of their families. So on our last visit, I got to know, on our last visit to our producers, I got to know one of our um, producers named Willie. He unfortunately has a very low education level, but through selling fair trade bananas in just one generation, he now has four kids that have gone to university. So he's got two nurses in his family, an engineer, and his youngest is now in med school. That's just one generation. And you can't imagine how proud he is to have been given that, to be able to give that gift to his kids. So producers in Peru and Ecuador, where we source our bananas, want the same things we want in Canada. They want a steady job that pays well and is safe so they can provide for and be with their families. Fair trade not only just allows for this to happen, but actively promotes it. So people often ask us why we put on our banana costumes. I don't have it on right now, but I will later. <laughs> um, and we tell them it's because we want to remind people that there's a person behind every single banana. I truly believe that colleges and universities, campuses are the place for change. Students become adults, they form their opinions of the world, and it's often the first time they're in charge and able to make purchasing decisions for their households. So naturally, it's a perfect fit to for, and a perfect place to be exposed to fair trade and be given the option to support uh, producers while you're on campus. 
So I now encourage all of you to inform your own circles at work, in your classes, and on campus to let them know that fair trade is important to you and extremely important to producers. So here's to getting uh, fair trade on campus at Humber. Thank you. And um, I wanted to pull the contest. So Kicking Horse, which is a fair trade coffee um, company, they generously donated a box full of stuff. <laughs> so we have a hat, it's fair trade coffee, and um, we also donated a couple of things from the Office of Sustainability, including Humber Honey and a sustainably made t-shirt. Thank you. <laughs> um, so if Brandon Carrero is here, you won a box from Kicking Horse. That's you? Okay, congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Okay, thank you so much and enjoy the rest of the afternoon. We have a um, sustainably made cake with um, donated uh, fair trade sugar and all sorts of products. So come and enjoy some free cake courtesy of Chartwells.